Hello everyone, today we are going to be checking out the collector's edition for Violet Evergarden, the movie. Let's begin! Okay, so this package actually came in. I thought it was actually going to be one box, but it's actually two separate um, packaging. Um, or it's two separate like boxes for it. I don't mind it, but at this size, I wish they could have just packed it together. Um, yeah, or they just you know, un unify the box at some point, but again, I don't mind. Oh god. Okay, okay, okay. now I have a problem. Ah, stop doing this. Stop doing a separate piece of paper for your insert. God damn. I know the movie box is nice, or is wait, I'm confused now. Okay, okay, okay. One second. Alright, so we got the two packages here. I will set this aside for now. So, we got this and this. So, let's start with this one. Okay, so, it looks like this is... Oh, okay. This is your postcards. So, I believe there are 12 that comes with this. Uh, let's open it up. I kind of want to see what the postcards are. Uh, there might be spoilers for the movie, so if you do, if you care about that, you might want to pause it now, or stop and come back. Um, and yeah. So okay. So normally, I would say. I like post uh, postcards are not like a big thing for me. Like I kind of hate it. At some at some point, it feels like it's cheap. Or Violet Evergarden. I'll make an exception because it actually thematically fits. Um. If you don't know, it's about like a postal carrier. It's about letters, essentially. So having postcards makes sense. It actually does. So I'll give it a pass. Uh, let's see. Nope. So let's open up the postcards. Get this. It's beautiful. Man. One, two, these art cards are incredible. There you go. Um, yeah, spoilers. I already mentioned that, but yeah, spoilers. Okay. Uh, let's, let me shuffle them back in. 
Again, these art cards, nice touch. Look at the postcards at the marking at the back of each of them. So, again, normally not a big fan of these, but because it's Violet Evergarden, I'll give it a pass. And we get the movie. The, um, the, the texture of this box is actually pretty incredible. It's nice. It has this textured feel to it. Or it has this uh, bound book feel to it, I would say. And you got... The movie itself. You got your sleeves and 4K Ultra HD. You get two. You get special features, feature film, and then you got your, I believe, this is the 4K, this is the regular Blu ray. I will be watching this because, man, I love this. I love the show. All right, so that's about it. It's a pretty short unboxing. There's not a lot, but what it has, it's pretty great. I'll post the price on this. Um, I think it's a little pricey for what it contains. Um, let me see if I can find the price for it. One second. Okay, so, um, I originally got this for $56.24, I believe, it's a little pricey, I would say, um, if you're okay with that price, I would say if you can get it at that price or lower, um, well, if you can, if you see it at this price, I would say wait a bit, again, depends on how much you love the series. Um, I, it's hard because I love the series, so it's hard to be a little more objective when it comes to this. But yeah, val objectively, value-wise, I wish they could have added an art book because the, the art on Violet Evergarden is incredible. I wanted to see an art book and it's not, not just the art book, either the art book or like the soundtrack because both are awesome for this particular series. So I wish they could have added that. Again, I wasn't always a big fan of postcards, but thematically it fits. And again, what it has, I, I guess you could substitute this as your art book. <laughs> but yeah, either I wish I'd had an art book with this or a soundtrack um, with Violet Evergarden. But otherwise, if you can get it for like, I would say 40, uh, 40 bucks, if you can get it for that, I would say jump on that chance because this is an absolutely gorgeous collector's edition um, at that price. But otherwise, it's hard, a little hard to recommend. It's a little hard to stomach the pricing on this. So... Yeah, if you have any questions about this collector's edition, put it down in the comments below. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. For now, see ya!